Does the face look familiar? How about the voice? About 15 years ago is when I discovered Bobby Short in a television commercial. Remember the one for Charlie Perfume? Recently, Bobby was in town and performed for the Dallas Fashion Awards at Lowe's Anatole. I'm a piano player and singer, and I always use the rather generic term saloon. I got that from Variety many years ago, and a saloon, according to Variety, is just a place where people go to hear music and entertainment, and they can also drink, you see. That's just plain, flat talk. And uh, sometimes uh, my elegant Cafe Carla becomes just the way the word saloon sounds. What type of places do you like to play at? It all depends. I like the concert stage a lot, a great deal. That's when the audience comes just to hear you, and there are no uh, things to distract their attention. And I like where I work. I like the Carlisle a lot. But they're utterly different, you know. How long have you been in the business? Well, I began as a child performer back in the 1930s, and I did that for two years. And then I took off, uh, in a manner of speaking, while I went back to high school. And I finished high school, and I went, went out again as a semi-adult. You know, I was, I was in my teens still, and I worked, I worked from then until now. Uh, I remember when I first went to California, the 1940s. That was a very important step in my life. When I first went to Europe in the 1950s, a very important step. Then when I came to New York in the 1950s and was a great success, that was a very important step. And I think going into the Cafe Carlisle uh, 21 years ago was a very important step. Did you think it's been that kind of a career. Do you think you were going to be there 21 years when you were there? I had there? no idea. I went there for two weeks and I've stayed all this time. Was there any time period in your life that there was a certain time period that you liked, like the 40s, the 50s, the 60s? I liked the 50s in New York because there was still the Broadway show with the, the extricable show tune. Uh, that doesn't exist today. I went to see a show called The Phantom of the Opera the other night. It's a magnificent show to watch. But there's nothing in that show for a performer like myself to extricate and perform in a room that has nothing to do with the show, you see. Do you find that your voice gets better with age? Some voices don't, but some people's do, do. I think that my voice has much more character now than I ever had before. I think that growing older, or advancing, as I'd like to say, has brought about a lot of, lot of frailties in my own physical character. Like, uh, I have a rot rotten sinus condition. Well, it's not very nice to sing with a sinus condition, but I think that I have more knowledge about how to sing. I'm still learning how to sing. I think most intelligent singers uh, feel that they're still learning how to sing. Have you gotten the notoriety in your career that you thought you would have or you would like to have, or has it been more or less? Or Notoriety? As far as like the popularity that you Ooh, I all entertainers. I think that I'm popular enough. Uh, I, uh, uh, I'm quite ambivalent about notoriety. I think it's nice to be, uh, being in show business has given me a chance to express myself. It has also been a means of earning a living good enough living that I can pursue the things that I think are pleasurable and important in life. And uh, one of the great treats of my life is going someplace where nobody knows who the devil I am, and I can just be a gent, you know? That's a lovely, lovely, lovely thing. I think we all long for that kind of privacy. Privacy is awful hard to find when you've been in show business over 50 years and recorded 25 albums. And with a talent like Bobby Short's, it can only get tougher. So tell me, why should it be true that I get a kick out of 